there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Basel, Switzerland for budget tips for visiting Switzerland. This was our number one most requested video when we told people we were coming to Switzerland, and so we do have some for you. And I'm going to be honest with you, when you do come here, my first tip for you is don't expect not to spend some of these when you're here. Look, there's nothing I can say, there's nothing we can do to make Switzerland a cheap vacation. It's impossible. You need to accept that. So if you're going to come here, you need to plan your budget accordingly. It's going to be more than going to France. It's going to be more than going to Italy. It's going to be more than going to Germany. And once you realize that, then you're not trying to like find a cheap way to do it. You understand you're actually going to spend money. OK, so just have that as an understanding when you're coming here. There is no cheap way to do Switzerland. OK, now there's some things we can do to try to you know reduce our costs when we're here. And I think the biggest one and the most helpful one, something that they do all over Switzerland are the passes. Now you can get the Swiss pass, which is, you know, for the trains and transportation kind of stuff. There's a half price Swiss pass you can get. And most of the big cities you go to have a Basel pass or a Zurich card or a Zurich pass or, a, you know, a Geneva pass or Geneva card. I mean, they all have those. And what's great is you actually get into those museums for free. Well, you pay for the car, but you get in for free and they do a great job of covering a lot of the really good museums. Whereas some of those passes you get around the world, they don't cover the real museums you want to see. It's all the secondary ones. The passes here really do cover the big museums, which is fantastic. Uh, so that can really help you out. But remember, if you're going to do that, make sure you compare the price of the pass versus the price of the places you want to go. But if you're going to spend a lot of time here, you have to get passes, especially for the trains, okay? Because it will make a huge difference. Like we're talking saving hundreds of francs if you're going to be here for a week or two. Now, another important thing to realize is that when you're going to Switzerland, there's, you know, there's different regions of Switzerland and the different regions actually have different levels of expensiveness. I actually find that the German part, you know, like Zurich and Lucerne, those parts actually are more expensive than if you go to the Italian part or the French part. So that could influence you in terms of where you're going to go. And of course, being in the cities is going to be more expensive than being in the rural areas. So if you kind of consider that when you're looking at planning your Swiss vacation, that can help your budget as well. Now, one of the tried and true ways to save money when you travel is obviously not eating out all the time. OK, and that's why it's really important to hit up some of the grocery stores when you are here, because you can pick up a decent meal at the grocery store to eat at one of the beautiful parks here or laying out by the river. I mean, it's a nice thing. And so you can do that and not just, you know, eat at the restaurant where you will notice that the money disappears a lot faster. And the thing is, though, I know some people are like, look, Mark, I don't want to cook my own food. I don't want to prepare my own food. What about going out to eat? What's some cheap stuff I can do that way in terms of food? And I'll be honest with you. My Swiss friends actually said, Mark, go to McDonald's. I'm like, are you saying that because I'm a fat American? They're like, no, 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 seriously, that's a cheap restaurant here. Go to McDonald's, go to some of the kiosks that are there that, that sell sandwiches and stuff. Go there to the fast food kind of places because the prices actually are significantly less. And I'm not saying go to McDonald's all the time, but just think about the fast food places it can be a cheaper alternative for you than going to the normal restaurants, okay? And remember, I'm trying to find some budget things to help you out, okay? I'm not saying McDonald's is cheap if you're comparing it to US prices sometimes. So just, just be aware of that. Now, another to consider when you're looking at your budget for coming to Switzerland is where you're going to stay. Now, one of the things that's nice about Switzerland is they have hostels all over the country. And yes, there's famous one like Balmers and Interlaken that everyone goes to when they're in college and they have their backpacking and their spurlunking and adventure travel stuff. But actually all over the country, there's hostels and it's not just for, you know, students and under 25s and stuff like that. Hostels, we stayed at hostels our whole family, you know, grandma, grandpa, me, Jocelyn, the boys. We stayed there because it was significantly cheaper to stay at a hostel than in a hotel. But just realize you're going to be sharing the bathroom and the shower and stuff like that. So be ready. But it can make a significant difference in your accommodation budget. And speaking of your accommodation, one thing I would say is where you're going to stay has a free breakfast take advantage of it okay even if that means you're coming in from germany or france the day before get your breakfast there at your hotel in france or germany before you come in here to like stock up but in all seriousness if you have a hotel or hostel or accommodation that supplies you breakfast for free that is a great option okay because that can save you a lot and you can fill up quite well so maybe you don't have to do the three meals out a day you can only do one like a, you know an intermezzo kind of thing instead of a big lunch and a big dinner and one of the really best budget things to do when you're here in switzerland is all this stuff outside just wandering the cities, whether you're wandering on Bahnhofstrasse, the window shopping in Zurich, or you're going through Geneva and seeing Lake Geneva, or you're hiking in the mountains, or you're going around. I mean, there's a lot of great free outdoor things you can do. Or I mean, here in Basel, you can go see the town hall and look at that from the inside and see the courtyard for free. So 
take advantage of the free stuff. Also look and see if there's any discount days for museums or free days at museums, because sometimes they have those and you can take advantage of them. Now, another tip I forgot to tell you about when you go out to eat is this. Try to stick to the top of the menu, okay? Don't get down on the entrees. Stay in with the appetizers and the salads and the soups, because one of the things is, is those are significantly cheaper than the entrees, but also the Swiss like to fortify themselves when they eat, so you actually will get a substantial soup, you'll get a substantial salad, you'll get a substantial appetizer when you think it's gonna be something small. So you can use that and save money that way and you know get some good food as well. And then another thing I think is really important is we got this beautiful water behind us, and that reminds me of it is this. Don't buy water when you're here. The water in Switzerland is fantastic. Just get tap water. Don't spend two or three or four francs to get a bottle of water when you're walking around. Have a refillable water bottle and just get tap water when you're here. It's free and it's fantastic. And even if you don't have a refillable water bottle, buy one water bottle, drink that, and then fill it up with the local water, you'll be okay. Now, I gotta tell you though, Switzerland will not be a cheap place to go. I've tried to insinuate that, let you know that it is not cheap, okay? It's not affordable, it's gonna be an expensive vacation destination, but if you do some of these tips, your money will go farther and you can have a better time when you're here and not worry about the money so much. Because I know for a lot of travelers, money is one of the biggest things. And Switzerland is one of those places that the money just kind of poof, disappears when you're going around. Anyway, I hope this helps you enjoy more and get to experience more when you're here in Switzerland. If you want to see more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and all those fantastic social media at Walters World. And a special thank you to all our patrons on Patreon and our members on YouTube who suggested this video and really wanted us to help out. So I hope this helped you know more about saving money when you're traveling in Switzerland. Bye from Basel.